Hey, I'm Joe. Come on. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> hey, we're water polo. I'm Joe. I'm Matt. I'm Eric. I'm Dave. Yeah. Yeah. And how did water polo form? Uh, so, me and Matt used to be in a ska band called Skank Week. And uh, when we wouldn't be practicing or that or something would come through, Matt would come over and just start playing some riffs that he was working on. And then uh, we got Joe involved in it, and it got more serious as like time progressed. And then we, we went through a slew of bases. Yeah, we've gone through like five bases. And uh, once we got to, we all moved and like went away to college, but we're all within Philadelphia. And we picked up Dave Scott, and he's the man. So well said. Yeah, the man here is Yeah. Why do you think you guys go through so many bases? Why do we go through so many bases? They all move. Yeah. yeah. They, they all just leave. Yeah. We owe some. We owe like three of them yeah. money because we started out with Joe being on bass and then realized we needed another guitar, mm -hmm. and then uh, we got Nick Mac, who like oh, yeah. one practice, got him. didn't play anything, and then Ryan Citrino, and then he went to Belmont. Ryan was incredible. Oh, such a good surgeon. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe your music? Indie rock. Very sad. Very sad indie rock. Oh, sad. Kind of sad indie rock. Okay. All right, what got you all interested in music? My dad. My dad just played acoustic guitar and sang for like my entire life. Mm -hmm. So I started picking up guitar and that's how, that's how I got started. I guess I started with like concert band and just playing sax. And then it evolved like just from listening to more music and falling out on. Um, in fifth grade, I, I broke my wrist and I was playing guitar at the time and then I just stopped playing it. And broke your wrist while playing guitar. No, I broke my wrist in like riding music or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, my parents told me I should try something else, so I started playing drums with like the concert band in middle school. And uh, here I am now. Um, I was back in like seventh or eighth grade, my cousin started playing the guitar, and I just thought it, like, it was really interesting. So yeah, I called his teacher, started taking lessons from him, and that kind of started everything. But then in ninth grade, my bio teacher actually introduced me to all these really cool bands. So like I kind of owe my own music taste to her. It's like really kind of weird. But if, it if it wasn't for her, then I'd still be listening to what you're asking for Xander. That's fine. That's fine. Happy birthday for six kids. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, let's see. What kind of message do you want to send when performing? Uh, okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah fun. definitely having fun. Yeah, that's awesome. it. Yeah. That's honestly how it's been for us, just fun. Alright, right, what's the most embarrassing band moment? Oh. Ooh. Like, does it have to be like a band related <laughs> thing or just things that happened with us? Yeah, whatever happened with you guys. Uh, so that's to be all of us collectively. How about each individually? What's your book most embarrassing? Uh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it. <laughs> so, uh, Besides Dave, because you know, we just picked them up recently, uh, we all were in the same room for senior trip together, and if you dig up around hard enough, you can find a picture of all of us posing in matching underwear on a bed with our friend Cameron. So, you can look around for that and find that somewhere. Is that, is that embarrassing, though? Hey, man, you can see a lot. I've got an idea of, like, something. Yeah, like, I'm not hiding anything now. Everyone knows. Okay. So that's, that's that. That's <laughs> all the balls we're seeing. Alright, if you guys had to be another local band, who would you be? Sleep in. Is that, is that the question? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Kill the rivers. <laughs> uh, I'd be down. Oh, yeah. Down for sure. Down for sure. Yeah. What about you? Oh, shit. What is local to do? What? Local to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess local for me. I'd want to be like. You know, like Radiator Hospital, or Hop Along. Hop Along is good. Either one of those. Awesome. And this is kind of weird. Um, if anyone, if you had to pick anyone in the band who would die first in a movie, who would it be? Joe Lynch. He's already on his last leg. <laughs> Joe Lynch has uh, one and a half lungs. And that's about it. Oh, really? Yeah, so he wouldn't even oh. actually run anyway. I'll take the ball. <laughs> you guys there going? <laughs> My name is like, what a nice guy. Absolutely. <laughs> right, who are your influences? 
Yes. I guess you guys can go down the line and pick like two artists. Uh, uh, Alright, um, God, if I had to pick two, uh, I'd probably have to say Mac DeMarco, for sure. It's totally one. Um, and uh, if I had to pick another, it would probably be Brian Sella. I don't know. His lyrics and his voice are so, they're so like, original. Two bands that influence my music now, I guess I would say American Football and Tidal Flight. Tidal Flight? Tidal Flight? Yeah, I go. Like, okay. I would probably say definitely a great big leagues, just because like the fun aspect of that. Yeah. And uh, another one, probably Maps Analysis. Just because I really like that. One joke. It's gotta be one. Oh yeah, you blew it's pretty awesome. We've been comparing to them a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh shit, Prawn, I love Prawn. <laughs> <laughs> They're fantastic. Yeah. Did you all get along at first when you started the band? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Okay. We did basketball now. Oh yeah. We played basketball since like fourth grade and together, man. Uh, that's how we met, we've been friends since. Uh, when did me and you become friends? Like, actual friends? Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, basically me and Joe have been friends like since the band started. And like, we're like a buddy boy now. And me and Matt have always been like, the, I don't know, pals? Or, or that. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever that it can be described as, or that, and we back on to interpretation. Yeah, and all this. <laughs> and, um, Dave, Dave just got along with everyone. He's literally been in the band for like maybe a month. Like a month. Yeah. Um, and like, I like yeah, everyone was a good guy who he takes a lot. How important do you think it is for everyone to get along in a band? Uh, probably the most important yeah. part of being yeah. in a band. Definitely. If you can't be friends with people you're in. My last band I was in, like, me and one kid just like hated each other. That's bad. It sucks. It sucks so bad. Alright, have you guys ever had an argument, and if so, what was it about? We argue, get into arguments about, like, really just ridiculous things, and then at the end of the argument, we realize that we're both on the same side about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's always really embarrassing, so... And me and Matt, you know. Yeah. Alright, for people who haven't um, performed a show, how do you, would you describe it? Uh, performing a show? Mm -hmm. It can be nerve-wracking. I mean, like, especially if it's one of your first shows. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the times it depends on like where it is, who you're playing yeah. with. Yeah. And then like stuff also like that. definitely how much you practice before and how much yeah. you practice before. Because if you practice like once or twice beforehand you like go to play a show, it's not gonna turn out very well. It always like feels better seeing like a friendly face in the crowd, yeah. but like it feels a lot better when you see someone you've never met before really getting into it. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. How was awesome. your first show? Our first show was, was oh wow uh, we, we uh, acoustic talent show yeah, yeah. we in ju junior year, no, junior, junior year, year yeah we and we played one water polo song and we don't play that song anymore and we also <laughs> did a death cab cover uh, the grass one. <laughs> I don't know, it was alright yeah it was, it was pretty good and then our first like actual show was a band like I'm pretty sure like seven people came out to and uh, but we played with this really cool band called Merit so it was like pretty worth it and. Um, Yes. It was the Red Dwarf show, and uh, yeah, it's been a good time since. Right. Are there any like last messages or I guess things you want to say for people who are watching? Pay the people who produce your records. Pay the people who produce your records. Uh, Something on the bad side of Jeff Tate. Jeff Tate has a butterfly knife. Run away. Watch out. Can you explain that real quick, what happened? Jeff Tate literally just threatened me with a knife like at least two hours ago. <laughs> That's not a joke, people. That actually That's happened. Fun. It's true. <laughs> Alright, alright, say goodbye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thanks for